this is Jim Smith and today I'm taking you to see my new horse property listing in Arvada. It's at the bottom of this uh, dip south of 80th Avenue. Maybe you remember seeing this sign for JK Ranch and the sign on the post there says 78th Avenue. Well, 78th Avenue is really a gravel cul-de-sac that goes across this ditch bridge and down here about a hundred yards so that's where this property is located and when we get to the end and I park I'll get out and talk to you about this property and show you its property lines and so forth so here's the property and we turn in here and we're gonna park right up here it's a subdivision of a larger property so I'll show you what the boundaries are here's the uh, main driveway gravel driveway for the house which we'll go to shortly. The property line along 78th Avenue extends from that telephone pole there with the brown fence down to this telephone pole here which goes to that telephone pole there and back to the back of the property. So half of this arena is for this property and there will be a agreement between the two property owners that for sharing this arena or you could fence it off there's a huge loafing shed right there let's uh let's go down now and look at the house walking through here notice that there are several little corrals and loafing sheds and i guess this is actually a stable here uh and then another couple other corrals and another loafing shed down there and there's next to my car is the gate to the house over here you have a three-car garage and a shed barn I guess is we'll call that and I'll show you those after we go in and look at the house so we enter through this gate and walk up to the house Coming in that door that faces the parking lot, this is a enclosed area with tile floor. Not sure what you'd use it for, but here's the bathroom and laundry. It's a full bath, and then over here are the two laundry machines, which are included. Then coming into the main part of the house, because that was obviously an addition, this is the kitchen area with a breakfast bar. Over there you can see the refrigerator and this is the door that you'll probably use more than that door facing the parking lot. And here's the kitchen, the dishwasher, electric stove, all, and microwave all included. And over here, it's kind of dark because there's no ceiling fixture here, but I think the camera will pick it up nicely. This is a living room with a beautiful stone wall and uh, a Schrader wood stove. So you can heat this house largely by wood if you want. Here are the windows to the front yard and to the parking area. And here's a longer view to the kitchen. Notice the the beams on the ceiling and the vaulted ceiling. That's nice. And there are three bedrooms here. Here's the middle bedroom. All carpeted here. Whereas it's laminate in the kitchen and living room and dining room. Here's uh, bedroom number two with the uh, facing east, by the way. Notice that because it is electric baseboard heat here that there's a thermostat for each room. And then here's bedroom number three. Closet. And again, it's own thermostat. So that's it. That's the entire house. Three bedrooms, one bath, one kitchen. Pretty nice for the right buyer. And especially if you have horses. Let's go outside now. Back in the parking area here, let me show you inside these, uh, well, this barn and the three-car garage. 
the barn has doors to a uh, corral or arena and another loafing shed through those doors. And then this is really a two car garage plus a one car garage as you'll see shortly. I've opened just the one on the left here. Go in here, it's long enough for a regular sedan, not an extra long truck. And that's because at the back is this insulated room where the well is, the well pump. This home is on well and septic. So I'll keep that door shut. Uh, and here, through this door, is the much larger, deeper two-car garage. Actually, if you have a small enough vehicle, it could be a four-car garage. But it's got plenty of lighting here and workbenches. And it has a view to the has windows to that large loafing shed I showed you when we first approached the house. So that's that's it. Uh, let me show you, there is another corral which I mentioned and I'll show you that before we leave. To get to that corral I'm going to walk past the house on the left here. There's the door to the kitchen. And I believe we can go through this gate here. Okay. Let's see here. Well, that's not as easy as I thought. So I'll just show you over the fence here. So there's the corral. And there's more loafing shed. And there's the back of that first loafing shed I showed you. And there's a door to the barn. So that's it. Thanks for touring this amazing horse property with me. If you'd like to see it in person, I'd be glad to show it to you. You can call me in anytime on my cell phone at 303-525-1851. Or email me at jim at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.